Hello everyone. In today's video, I'll be looking at this Kaiwitz model KM601 multimeter. Now the unique thing about this multimeter is it has this very large display and it also has something called smart mode, which it automatically selects the testing you want to do. So let's say if you want to test voltage or resistance or continuity, the multimeter will automatically select the test mode it needs to go into without you having to set that. And this is something I've not seen on other brands of multimeter. So let's unbox this and see what comes with this multimeter. And I'll show you some examples of using this tool. This KM601 multimeter comes in this box. Let's open this up. Here's your user manual. Right here is the KM601 multimeter. It comes with a set of test probes. Six AAA batteries. And a temperature probe. So the first thing I need to do is install the batteries. Remove this rubber case. Next, remove this Phillips screw. Here you can see the multimeter uses three AAA batteries, but they gave you six. So three of these are spares. Reinstall the screw. Reinstall the rubber case. As you can see, this multimeter has a very large backlit color LCD display. If I measure it, it measures 3.5 inch diagonally. On the display, you see the word auto. This means it's in the auto test mode. Above that, you see the needle toggle between voltage, resistance, and continuity test. So it's ready to detect and test these three measurements. Now for those of you who are new to using a multimeter, let me explain a little bit more on how this auto mode on this KM601 is different than a regular multimeter. This multimeter you see on the right is what most multimeters look like. There's a dial in the middle for you to select different test modes. If you want to test voltage, you have to set this to the voltage test mode. And if you want to test continuity, you have to set it here. And if you want to test resistance, you have to set it to this resistance measurement mode. And if you don't select the correct test mode, then you won't be able to do the test. On the KM601, if you set the function to auto mode, then it'll automatically detect whether you want to test voltage, resistance, or continuity. And this makes using this tool very easy. Now plug in the probes. Now looking at the bottom, you see there are four ports. These four ports correspond to the measurement here. This port is for measuring up to 10 amps. This port is for measuring milliamps. And this port is your common. The last connector here is for measuring voltage, resistance, diode, capacitance, and temperature. So I'll plug in the black probe in the common. And then plug the red probe into this last one over here. One thing I want to point out about these test lead is if you look at the tip, it has a very short conductor right here. This is very good for probing small areas on a circuit board or testing high voltage circuits where you don't want to accidentally short circuit the test lead with something else. But if you want, you can convert these to regular test probes. All you have to do is pull this plastic off. And with a longer test probe, you can wrap wires around it or if you're doing some circuit testing, it'll give you some flexibility on how you want to test a circuit. With the multimeter set to auto mode, I'm going to test the voltage on this Ryobi battery. Now, since it's in auto smart mode, it should automatically select the voltage measurement when I put the probe on the battery. As you can see, this battery measures 20.45 volt DC. Next, I'll test the resistance of this resistor. This is a 330 ohm resistor. And again, the multimeter is set to auto mode. As you can see, it's measuring 331 ohm. Next, I'll test the continuity of this switch. I'll put my probe on the two conductors on the back of the switch. Now turn on the switch. It shows zero ohm, it's beeping, and also the green LED at the top is illuminated. So this tells me the current is flowing through the switch. I'll turn it off. 
So you can see the auto mode worked very well. It was able to test the voltage, resistance, and continuity without having me set the test mode manually. This is nice because it makes using a multimeter very easy and convenient. Now if you don't want to use the auto mode, you can manually select the test mode. Press the red button in the middle to select what you want to test. Here I selected voltage test. Now as you can see, it's going to measure DC voltage. If you want to measure AC voltage, press the select button right here. It'll switch to AC voltage. Press it again, it'll go back to DC. Now the range button will move the decimal on the measurement display, changing the resolution of the measurement. Right now I'm going to connect my power supply to the multimeter. As you can see, it's measuring 12.21 volt DC. Now if I press the range button, it'll move the decimal point. Now it's measuring 12.1 volt. Press it again. Now showing zero because it's out of range. Also this bar graph here shows it's out of range. Press it again. Now I'll show you 12.21 volts. Let's say you want to measure AC voltage like the outlet in your home. You need to change the measurement to AC. Press the select button to toggle to AC measurement. Now I'll put the probe in the receptacle. As you can see it's measuring 118 volt AC. You notice with a dual line display, at the top it will also show you the frequency of this AC voltage. Being in North America, it shows 60 Hz. Right now I turn off the power to the power strip, that's why it's 0 volt. I'm going to use a max hold function. Press this button right here, that says max min. The word max will show. Now I'll turn on the power strip. You see it's measuring 118 volt AC, which is good. But now I'm going to turn it off. With the max hold function, you see the display still shows the last voltage measurement even though I turn off the power strip. Now while I have this power strip right here, I'll show you the NCV live measurement. Right now it's set to NCV live. What I'll do is place the top part of this multimeter near any AC voltage. And I'll warn you there's live AC voltage nearby. There's a non-contact voltage test. Right now I'm measuring a DC voltage and you can see this reading is fluctuating. If I want to freeze this reading, press the release and hold button right here. The word hold will display and the reading is held at 25.38 volts. To release the hold, press the button again. And that's how you use the release hold feature. Now let me show you how to use a temperature sensor. At the end of this probe is a small little thermistor and that's what measures temperature. Now press a red button to select the temperature measurement. Now plug in the temperature probe. On this line it's showing you 19 degrees Celsius and above that it's showing you 67 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll put my finger on the thermistor and you see the temperature go up. The measurement range is minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 1,832 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 40 degrees Celsius to 1,000 degrees Celsius. Now with the backlit LCD, let me show you what the display looks like when I turn off the light in this room. As you can see, the display is nice and clear, very easy to see in the dark. I can see this being very useful if you're working underneath the dash, inside the car, or doing any troubleshooting in the engine bay. This multimeter does have auto power off, so if you leave it on for 15 minutes, it will turn off automatically. If you want to turn on and off manually, right here is a power button. Press and hold, and it'll turn off. And if you want to turn it on, press and hold the button again. When the auto power off feature is on, you'll see this timer icon right here. Now you can disable the auto power off function. Press this APO button right here. You see the icon's gone, press it again, it'll turn it back on. On the left side, there's a flashlight button right here. If you press it, the flashlight will turn on. Press it again, it'll turn off. So, what do I think about this multimeter? After testing all the features and using it in a recent dash cam install, I can tell you I really like it. The overall design is very nice, it's very compact, about the size of a cell phone. The large display is very easy to read. And there are two features that really stand out. One is a backlit LCD. This is perfect if you're troubleshooting or doing an install in a vehicle. Because most of the time the space is very dark, and with a backlit LCD, you can easily see the display. The second feature I really like is a smart auto function. The multimeter will automatically select the three most common testing function, and that is voltage, 
resistance, and continuity test. At the time of this review, you can pick up this multimeter for $47. It's a really good price considering all the features it has. I think if you're looking to buy a multimeter, you should definitely consider this. If you're interested, check out the link below. Let me know what you think about this multimeter in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.